free pattern for this project is available on my website and is linked below. For this project, you're going to want two rectangles of fabric for the cover, two rectangles of lightweight fusible interfacing to make the cover just a little bit stronger. You're also going to want one rectangle for the pockets. For the pages, you're going to need two rectangles of felt and then for stabilizer to give the book a little bit more structure, you can have an additional piece of felt or cotton batting. You're also going to want 12 to 14 inches of ribbon. Let's get started. Let's start by attaching our interfacing. Take your cover pieces and lay them right side down. Place your interfacing on the wrong side of the fabric. The rough side is the one with the glue and that's the one you want to touch your fabric. So lay it rough side down on the wrong side of your fabric and follow the instructions for the interfacing to fuse. Next, take the rectangle that you're going to be using for your pockets. Turn it right side down. Fold it in half lengthwise. This will create a rectangle that is six by two and a half inches. And press. Lay one of the cover rectangles right side up. Place the pocket rectangle on top of it. For the pockets, the fold will be pointing towards the top and the raw edges will line up with the bottom edge of the cover. This is going to be the inside of your needle book. Use a pin to secure it in place. Next, take your ribbon and center it along the side edge. Do the same on the other side. The center part here, you don't want to get in your way when you're sewing, so you can fold that up and pin it in the center as well so that you don't have to worry about it. I like to place a pin through the wrong side, up and over the ribbon, and then down, securing the ribbon in place. Take your second cover rectangle Lay it right side down on top of the first and pin all the way around. Next we're going to sew around the edges. We're going to leave an opening in the bottom center to turn. So start at this pin, sew all the way around and stop here, leaving this bottom section open. Sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. When you get to the corner, make sure your needle's down, lift your foot up, and turn. I like to backstitch over the section with the ribbon just to make it stronger. Next, clip the corners. Take care not to cut your stitches. Flip the book right side out. When you turn, if your ribbon is stuck inside your pockets, flip the pockets to the other side. You want the ribbon to be coming out of the sides freely. Use a turning tool to carefully poke out the corners. Once it's turned, go ahead and fold the book in half, extend your ribbon, and cut it at the end so that it's two pieces. You now have two ribbon ties. Press your book flat. If your ribbon could melt, be careful. Double check the size of your batting. It should be just a smidge smaller 
than your book. So since mine extends a little bit, I'm going to trim it. That size looks perfect. And I'm gonna go ahead and place it inside my book through the opening. Once your batting is in place, top stitch all the way around with an eighth of an inch seam allowance. I'm going to increase my stitch length to 3.5 when I do this. I like to top stitch from the right side. This is the side without the pockets, so I can make sure it looks nice. Lay your book so that the pockets are facing up. Place one of the page pieces in the center. Place the second page piece directly on top of it. And use a pin or two to hold it in place. Next, mark the center of the book. I'm now going to stitch down the center of the book. I'm going to keep my longer stitch length about 3.5 or 4 and I'm going to sew straight through all the layers. If you'd like to, to prevent fraying on the edge of the ribbon, you can use a fray prevention solution. I'm using Fray Check. So I'll just put that on the ends and let it dry. I'm using just a tiny bit. I don't want it to be too noticeable. Next, you can fold your book in half and give it a good press from the outside. Watch your ribbon and your felt to take care that it doesn't melt.